So have you ever wondered if there's an easy way of being able to change out the way that the whole checkout process in WooCommerce works? Today, we're going to check out a free plugin that allows you to do just that. The best thing is you can replace your entire checkout or you can replace it on a single product or multiple products. So if you wanted to, you could have different checkout pages for different sections of your website. Best of all, if you want to do things like have thank you pages with upsells and sign up forms and all kinds of good things, you can do that as well. So let's jump into WordPress, let's open up Cartflows and let's see what we can do with this free plugin. My name is Paul C and this is WP Tuts. And if you're looking to get the most out of WordPress, hit that subscribe button to be notified every time we add great new content to the channel. Okay, so what are we going to use today? We're going to use the free version of Cartflows. Now, if you've never heard of Cartflows, it does what its name suggests. It allows you to create flows, in other words, a cycle inside your shopping cart with WooCommerce, and then you can customize each of those different stages. So you could create something like a landing page, then then offload you to the checkout process, and finally a thank you page that may have an upsell or additional actions you want your purchaser to take. However, if you want to, you can just set this up to replace your general checkout checkout page or you can create checkout pages for individual items so you can customize the checkout process based upon what someone is purchasing. So there's a ton of flexibility available to you. Now this is like I say the free version. There is a pro version but we don't need that. We will take a look at that in a future video. Okay so what we're going to do next is we're going to jump over to the dashboard of WordPress and see how we create a flow and then how we can use that to customize things inside our checkout. And once you're in the dashboard and you've got cart flows and WooCommerce installed and configured, we're then good to go and create our first flow. So if we take a look on the left hand side, we now have a new entry called cart flows and inside there we've got two different options. We've got flows and we've got settings. We'll check out the flows to start off with and we'll come back to the settings and I'll show you what you can do inside there. So we're going to come over to our flow. And once we're in there, we can see any flows that we currently have are available will be listed. Also, we can come up and we can import or export any flows you created previously. So this is a nice way that if you create a flow that you want to use on other sites, you can easily import that into them and get a quick start on exactly what you want to do. What we're going to do, though, is we're going to click on Add New. Once we do that, we're open up to the templates that are available to us. Now you can see a lot of these are marked off as pro, so they are only available as part of the pro package if you have this and you're paying for it. However, there are some great options for the free version. Now don't think that because these are the free options that you're limited in what you can do, you still have the ability to use your typical page builder like Divi, Beaver Builder or Elementor to create and edit and customize these to your heart's content. Also, you can create your own. So if we click on there, you can see we can go through and design our own flow. However, for this video, we're going to keep it to the ready templates just for speed. What we're going to do is we're going to come down and we're going to choose this particular template. If I want to, I can preview it to see what it'll look like, or I can just click import and it'll import all the stages or flows into our new created flow. So let's click on import. You can see it now says it's going through and creating those and importing steps one through to three. So that means we've got a three step process as part of this template. However, the beauty of cart flows is we don't have to use all of those different flows. We can use this template to start off with, and then we can edit or delete or reorder anything we want to create a customized flow. So here we go. Here's our initial flow, and you can see there's three stages to it. There's the landing page, the checkout page, and the thank you page. The first thing we're going to do is we're going to give this a name, and we're going to use this to replace all of our checkout process. So we're going to call this Global Checkout. Once we've done that, we're now ready to move on and edit the actual flow itself. So you can see we can view, edit, clone, or delete any of these flow stages. Now for our example, we don't need the landing page. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna simply delete that from our flow, confirm, and that will remove it. So we now have two separate stages, the checkout page and the thank you page. So let's take a first look at how we can edit the actual checkout page. Before we do, I'm gonna click update to make sure that confirm that removal of this landing page. And then we're going to come in and we're just going to click on edit. Once we're inside there, you can see we're taken into a typical looking page inside our theme. We've got the option to work with Elementor. And if we scroll down, we've got some checkout layout options. Now, these are specific to cart flows. You don't have to set much up in here, but you can if you want to go through and configure all the different aspects to make sure it does exactly what you want. What we're going to do, though, is going to take a look at some of these briefly. If you take a look, the short codes. This will give us the short code if we want to use this flow somewhere else. The next option is the select product option. And what we can do is we can restrict this checkout process to specific products. You can easily come in, click, and start searching for the product that you want. So let's just say we want to find the beanie. 
And if we want to add a second product, we can add a second one, search our second product and carry on doing that until we're happy. However, we're going to use this to globally replace. So we're going to get rid of both of these and leave those completely empty. You've got the order bump, which you can go through and say, we need to upgrade. So this is something that if you want to utilize this, you'd need the pro version of Cart Flows. And we will take a look at the pro version in its own separate video and see some of the new things that it brings into it over the free version. Checkout design, we can go through and we can adjust the base color scheme and the base font family that's being used in there. So if you want to keep it really simple, we can do that. We can set the multiple columns. We can have a two-step process if we're dealing with Cart Flows Pro. And we can also change the primary color and so on. So let's just change that over and we'll set that to be this blue color. We'll change the font to anything you want. So we could say we want this to be Mooli to match in maybe with the theme or design that we're working with. And then if we open up the advanced options, you can see there's even more controls over how we set up the key areas of this checkout page. So you've got a lot of options in there to make sure you can fine tune and tweak the styling to fit in with the design or the theme that you're currently working with. I'm going to disable that for now, just keep it really simple. Checkout fields, again, we need to upgrade to Cartflows Pro to get access to that. And we can add in our logo or we can add in the custom script. So let's just leave that as is. We'll hit update on there to make sure that everything is committed. And then what we'll do is we'll click on edit with Elementor. Then we'll open up the Elementor editor like we used to, and we'll see that the checkout page is in here and we can start customizing it even further. Now at the moment, it's only displaying as a single column, but when you actually look at the design itself, it is in two columns by standard. It's just the way it's looking inside the editor. So now we can easily come in and start editing, changing, adding, doing whatever we want to this overall design. So let's keep it really simple and just come in and do something like, let's just change the header colors and we'll say we want this to be a purpley color through to a blue color. So you can see we can edit that. We can adjust the angle on there. We can do whatever we want. We can simply come in edit this, drop in a different image in there, put whatever we want in there so we can style this and brand this to make sure it fits in with exactly what you're doing for your particular site design. So we'll just drop this one in there for now, insert that media, and you can see we can easily come in, edit, style, do whatever we want to everything inside here. Just remove the margins from there. There we go. So we've easily come in and edited things. We scroll down, you can see we've got a nice little footer section in there, but we can do whatever we want inside Elementor. We'll hit update on there and we've now edited and created the first part of our flow. So once we've done that, we can come back out and we can exit to our dashboard and there's our checkout page created. We're not using it yet, but it has been created. So let's come back to our cart flows, go back into our flow and quickly just take a look at the actual thank you page. So if we view this, we can see what it looks like. Now, obviously there's no order in here, but once someone's placed an order and they get to this page, they'll see a summary of their order. But if you wanted to, you could drop in anything onto this page. You might want to do an upsell. You might want to get them subscribed to your mailing list. Anything you kind of want, anything you can think of, you can add at this stage. And it's another way of potentially either making more money or getting your customer into your whole email marketing process. So the thank you page is a great way of adding extra value to your site and also to your customer. Okay, so that's how we set up the checkout page and the thank you page. That flow now is in place, but it's not assigned to anything. If we want that to replace the global checkout, we need to go into the settings section of cart flows. And once we're in there, you can see there really isn't much to deal with in here. We can set the disallow search engines from indexing flows, which is very useful if you have lots of flows. You don't necessarily want those to be indexed because there's no real use to your search engine side of things from that. So you have that option there if you want to disable it. You've also got the global checkout. And at the moment, that's set to select. In other words, we're just using the standard WooCommerce checkout. If we click on there, you can see there's our checkout page. If we click on that, that's now going to set the checkout page that we're working with to be global so that when we just created the flow will now be the checkout page for every single product in our entire shop. You can see show templates designed for and we can choose from Elementor, Beaver Builder and Divi. Because we're dealing with Elementor with this example, we'll leave it as is. But if you were using Beaver Builder or Divi or something else, you could choose the options there and then you see the design templates that are associated with that particular page builder. But we're happy with this. We can click on save changes and we've now replaced the global checkout throughout our entire store with the one we've just created. So let's just jump over to the store and let's take a look at this in action and see how it looks. Now this site currently uses the hello theme with Elementor and currently 
there's no styling applied to it. So what you're seeing is only styling that's being pulled in from WooCommerce. There's no theme styling. So that's why you're seeing this header section with the navigation all over the place. However, what this does is it allows you to see exactly what's happening with cart flows because that's independent of our theme. So let's just say we'll add this beanie to the basket. Once you've done that, let's view our basket and we'll see there's our typical looking basket inside WooCommerce itself. Click to proceed to checkout. And once we do that, we now see there's our custom styled checkout process. So we can now go through, fill out our details, place our order. And then once we've placed our order successfully, we'll then be taken over to the thank you page. And that's a really cool way of being able to customize the way that things look. If you want to go above and beyond what the free version does, the pro version is going to give you more control over the actual checkout form itself and the things you can kind of do on there. So it's definitely worth taking a look at if you are looking to get the optimal way of being able to create your cart flows inside WooCommerce and inside the page builder that you prefer to work with. Now, this is just scratching the surface of what you could do with cart flows and what you could do with customizing WooCommerce and the checkout process. So there we go. That's how we can use cart flows to replace the checkout pages and create great looking thank you pages that help us do so much more than just say thank you. Well, what do you think of cart flows? Would you like to learn more about it? If you would, you can check out this video right now, which is going to take you through and show you how you can create customized landing pages and link them through to their own customized checkout pages and thank you pages. This is a great way of able to promote and sell products, especially if you're doing online marketing through things like Facebook, Google ads, and so on. Well, what do you think of cart flows? Is this something you could see integrating into your workflow? Could you see it replacing all or part of your WooCommerce checkout process? Let me know in the comment section below because I'd love to get your feedback on this video and the content we've covered. Now, speaking of this video, if you enjoyed it, give it a thumbs up. If you didn't, give it a thumbs down. Perfectly fine. But let me know in the comment section below what you did or didn't like about the video. It helps me create better content for you moving forward. As always, my name's been Paul C. This has been WP Tuts. And until next time, take care.